wonder what's happened to Otto this time. He sounds so worried in his recent letter. Poor Otto can't seem to stay out of trouble. It's terribly dark in here. Hello? Is anyone here? Otto? It's me, Anna! The light switches aren't working. Otto, are you resting in the hall? Where could he be? I have a bad feeling about this, and this silence is frightening. I'd better take this candelabra with me. Seems that it's the only light source in here. Well, that's certainly an improvement. And what should I do now? I'll take a look at the reception desk. Maybe I can find some clues as to where Otto might be. So, is there anything useful over here? Hmm. The guest book is open. I wonder who's currently staying at the Riga. Let's see. Professor Clark? What's he doing here? I can't imagine he'd stay here on a vacation after what happened last time I was here. The guest book says his room is number four. There's no room. I'll visit the professor's room. I'm sure he'll be surprised to see me. was open, but he's not in here. Where is everyone? And what's with all this mess? I hope Otto and Professor Clark are all right. I'd better take a look around.
I don't like the look of this. The professor is circled in red in this photo. There's something written on the photo, but it's very small. In... Innsbruck. Ah, I can barely read the words on this photo, let alone search for clues. I've got to get the electricity working again. There has to be an electric panel somewhere. Maybe in the cellar. This must be the fuse box. Now to have a look inside. That's unusual. One of the fuses is missing entirely. I'll see if I can find a new one. I'm sure Otto has a backup fuse somewhere in the cellar. This looks right. Now to insert the fuse. All that's left is to switch it on. Fingers crossed this works.
there be light? I'll never take electric lights for granted again. Now to head back into the hotel. It's absolutely freezing down here. With the lights fixed, I'll be able to search the hotel properly. What's that noise? The sound is coming from the open window on the second floor. I believe that's the window for room 8. It could be someone in trouble. I should hurry up there. Bless you, Liebkind. I am so, so glad to s s see you. I thought I was go going to, to die like this. You, oh. you look like you're freezing. I'm going to get you untied. I just need to find something to cut those ropes. a knife. I'll have you out of here in no time. Anna, you are my guardian angel. Oh, let's get you to the fireplace so you can warm up. The fireplace? Sounds nice. Danke, Anna. Whoa, whoa. Don't rush it. Lean on me. I'll help you get downstairs. Who did this to you, Otto? I wish I knew who, who the m m men were. But they were, were, weren't here with the kindest intentions. Are these men part of the distress you wrote me about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Undoubtedly. I'm going to light a fire. Then you can tell me everything. Of course. There's no firewood when we need it the most. There are m m m more logs in the kitchen. I'll go find them. Be right back, Otto.
Great. I found some firewood. Now I can start a fire. Thank you, Anna. I feel better already. If not for you, I would have frozen to death. We both know I wouldn't let that happen, Otto. So what's going on here? Your letter wasn't exactly forthcoming. And where is Professor Clark? How do you know about the Professor? I took a glimpse at the guest book and saw he was staying here. The Professor wasn't in his room. But I found this photo of him. Professor Clark is ominously circled in red. May I see the photo? Someone is clearly looking for him. Yeah, unfortunately you are correct. Here is everything I know. The professor arrived unexpectedly earlier this week. No reservation. He looked nervous. I asked him for details, but he wouldn't say much. Two days went by without incident. A Riga hotel record. The professor started to relax. One morning, there was a loud knock on the door. No one was there. Just a letter. It was for the professor. As soon as he read it, he went pale. What was the message? I have no idea. He wouldn't tell me. It was encrypted in a secret language. He immediately barricaded himself in the cabin. Refused to leave. The next day, a new coded message was in the snow outside the cabin. Something was amiss. I tried asking the professor about it, but his lips were sealed. So I wrote to you. I was cleaning room 8 that night. The lights suddenly went out. Then, whack! Something hit me. When I came to, I was tied to the chair. I overheard them say the professor left his cabin. They asked me, Where is the professor? I said I had no idea. And so, whack! They knocked me out again and opened the window so I would freeze to death. Well, I'm relieved Professor Clark managed to escape. Unless they caught up to him later. God only knows. Let's decipher those messages the Professor received. They might be our best lead for figuring out what happened. Where can I find them? I keep all the letters for guests at the reception in a letter box. The first coded message should be there. I'll go find it.
I found a coded message. This is almost certainly the first message. Very interesting. I've seen ciphers like these before. Any luck, Anna? Yes, I found the message. Did you crack the code? Not yet. I'll need more messages in order to find patterns. You said the second one was etched in the snow near the cabin. Yeah, so I copied it to a sheet of paper. I put it somewhere in the hall. Not to worry. I'll have a look around. coded message. Just my luck. There are no similarities at all between the messages. Did you find the second message? Yes, but the messages are too different from one another. I need to find patterns so I can decode the words. Is there anything else we can do? The professor might have had a key to the code in the cabin. I'm going there to check. Then I will go with you. <coughs> Otto, you almost froze to death a few moments ago. I'll search the cabin. You stay here and rest. If you have the strength, go ahead and call the police. Will do, Anna. Please be careful out there. The door appears to be broken from the outside. Hello? Are you in here, Professor? Oh my. These bullet holes are a bad omen. Were they looking for the Professor? Or maybe one of his artifacts? I hope he's safe wherever he is. I'll see if Professor Clark left behind anything important.
This amulet looks like it belongs to the professor. Is this what his assailants were looking for? I should check the attic as well. Great! I found a coded message. <gasps> Another message! It's not a key, but there might be enough overlap with the other messages to find patterns. I'd better head back. A constable has likely arrived by now. Oh. Phew! My feet feel like blocks of ice already! Otto, how are you feeling? Much better, thank you. The warm fire really helps. Is there a constable on the way? No one is picking up the phone at the station. Oh, just great. They may have all gone home by now. Their staff is very small. Not enough officers to work around the clock shifts. This is such a quiet town. Well, I mean, it used to be. Hopefully tomorrow won't be too late. What about the cabin? Anything of interest? The cabin was an even bigger mess than his hotel room, but I managed to find another encrypted message. That is good news. Will you be able to decipher them now? There's only one way to find out. First, I'll lay out all three messages on the table. Now I can analyze them for patterns.
I believe I just cracked the code. Let's read what's written in the messages. It is useless to hide from us. Come to town bar tomorrow at noon. Seems like the professor had decided to ignore them. What does the third message say? We are coming. Any theories on who they might be? It's too early to say. It could be anyone. Mobsters? Kidnappers? My god! Will this nightmare ever end? I'm sorry, Otto. You've gone through so much. It is okay, Anna. I will be fine. I am more concerned about the professor. We must find him before it is too late. I will get my coat and... You almost got hypothermia and you want to go back outside. We won't find anyone in that hellish snowstorm. It would be suicide to go out tonight. Let's continue our search first thing tomorrow. You are right as usual. But if we stay here, we need to be on guard. Agreed. The professor's assailants may be spying on the hotel. Do you have anything to protect yourself? Yeah. My rifle is at the reception desk. Stay there. I'll bring it to you. your rifle, Otto. Wunderbar. Please hand it to me. Uh, no ammunition. There should be a handful of bullets in the dresser in room 8. Can you bring them here? Certainly. Give me a moment. some bullets. Good guess, Otto. Here are your bullets. Danke, Anna. You get some sleep and I will keep watch through the night. You mean all night? Are you sure? Because I'd be happy to take shifts. You saved my life. 
Again. This is the least I can do. Very well. Wake me if you change your mind. Good morning, Otto. Otto, are you okay? Speak to me. Anna, what? Did they show up? No, no, e everything's fine. I was worried when you didn't answer. Good side, Dank. I am fine too, just a bit tired. So, where should we begin our search for the professor? Let's start with a close look around the hotel grounds. There might be clues to his whereabouts that he left behind. Sounds good. Where to first? The last place you saw him was the cabin. So let's begin our search there. Yeah, good thinking. I will get my coat. I found a cane. It's a cane. And it's covered in blood. Do you remember if this belonged to the professor? Let me see it. Yup, this is definitely his. What do you think happened in here? Judging by the bullet holes, I'd say there was a struggle. Perhaps the professor fought back. Overpowered, he broke through the window and escaped. I wonder where he went. Your guess is as good as mine. I'd like to inspect his room one more time. What are we looking for, exactly? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. This feels like a dead end. We don't know where the Professor or his assailants are. I can't even confirm he's still alive. I guess you could say I'm looking for a bit of clarity. Maybe we should go to the police station. The snowstorm is over. We can drive into town. 
I'd like to give the police a bit more to go on. Let's look around one more time, then we'll head into town. Brochure. Interesting. What is it? I have a theory about where the professor went. I found this brochure among the professor's things. Take a look. I give these to all our guests at the reception desk. It is just a map of the local towns and nature sites. Exactly. I believe he used this map to find a place to hide from his pursuers. They wanted to meet him at the bar in the nearby town. So he couldn't show his face there. Look closely at the map. There's a cave in the top right corner, not far from here. What if he hid in the cave from the snowstorm? And his killers? Sure, it is possible. Then let's head to the mountains. It's the only lead we've got. of the assailants. Let's take a closer look at the body. I think I'm going to be sick. It appears he was torn apart by a wild animal. Are there wolves or bears nearby? Sometimes a wolf comes down from the mountains, but they never get this close to the hotel. We need to figure out the victim's identity.
found an insignia. König Albert? That's a familiar name. I beg your pardon. If I'm not mistaken, König Albert is a cargo ship. Its name is embroidered on this shoulder patch. This is a naval patch. Our victim was probably a sailor. A sailor? What is a sailor doing so deep in the mountains? I'm not sure. I suppose he could have been on shore leave. I don't see anything else of interest on the body. The snowfall was so heavy last night. Maybe it covered up some clues. How about we clear the snow away? Yes, that's an excellent idea. There should be a broom in the cellar. I keep a broom in this cellar. find something when we clear the snow. Ach, der Liebe! There is blood everywhere! The trail stretches up to the mountains. We need to hurry, Otto! The professor could be in danger! Get away from me! Ah! Take that! The professor is up ahead! Oh, Otto! Look out! Shoot! Be gone, you banshee beast! Otto! Anna, you're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, we thought you were lost, or worse. I thought I was a goner too. Let's get you back to the hotel, Professor. I want to hear everything that's happened to you. Otto, I'd like to get a blanket for the Professor. Of course. There should be one in the whole cupboard. I'll go make the Professor a cup of tea. I would appreciate a blanket.
There. This should help you warm up. Thank you. I have something else for you, Professor. I found this ancient amulet in the cabin. I'm guessing it belongs to you. Let me see it. Ah, yes. It's mine, all right. This is the Rigvedic deity Yama, the Lord of Death and Justice. I'm not superstitious, but this amulet always brings me luck. Thank you, Anna. Please don't lose that amulet again, Professor. I have a feeling we'll need all the luck we can get. Now, what happened to you this past week? We deciphered all the encoded messages you received. We know you're being hunted. Ah. Who are these people? Why do they want to kill you? They're Nazi fanatics. Cold-blooded killers. They're obsessed with my field of study. Indian occultism. Specifically how it can benefit the German revival. Are they brown shirts? The same people who were looking for you earlier this year? Yes. The ones who sent Claudia here. The Nazis are relentless. I refuse to work for them. So they'll keep sending assassins after me until I'm dead. There must be a way to keep you safe. We'll think of something. How many assailants were there? There are two of them. Just one now. We found one torn apart by wolves. As they say, the dog shall die a dog's death. However, I'm still in grave danger if one of those killers is alive. And even if I evade one fanatic, more Nazis will be sent after me. There's only one way out. I need to run as far away as possible. The United States, Canada, wherever these maniacs won't find me. That's a smart plan. But we need to deal with the second assailant first. Otherwise, you might not even make it to the border. Deal with him? How? I refuse to kill a human being. But as long as he's alive, my life's in danger. And we don't have the resources to hold him captive. Hmm. What if we tricked him into thinking you were dead? Then the fanatics will stop looking for you. It sounds like a long shot, but I'm willing to try anything. We won't let anything happen to you, Professor. Yeah, we will protect you as best we can. I'm going to take another look around the assailant's body outside. I will stay inside and take care of Charles as he recovers. Going outside alone will be dangerous. You should take my rifle. No, you need to be armed to protect the professor. Besides, if I'm being honest, I'm not a great shot. The guest in room 7 left a gun behind. I insist you take it. You can use it to scare an attacker away at least. Fair enough. Room 7 it is then. The door will be locked. Take my master key. Great, I found a key. a gun. Just my luck. No wonder the guest left this gun behind. It's completely jammed. I'll need to fix it. I found the gun, Otto, but it's completely jammed. I'll need to disassemble it and grease it with oil. I thought you were a lousy shot. I know how to fix guns. I just don't fire them particularly well. I see. 
There is an oiler in the kitchen. Thank you. I'll bring it here. In the meantime, can you disassemble the gun? Of course. Leave it to me. Parts are ready for you on the table. Okay, time to grease these parts. Now to assemble them. You. All right. I'm heading to the backyard. Be careful out there, Anna. found a cigarette case. Why is this cigarette case so unusually bulky? It looks like there's a secret section at the top. I wonder if there's something hidden inside. I'd better go back to the hotel to open it, or I'll end up like this assailant. Thank goodness you are safe. Did you find anything out there? Yes. An unusual cigarette case. I bet there's something hidden inside. Let's see if my suspicions are correct. some instructions just as I thought hmm 
It appears to be a set of instructions. The grammar suggests that the writer isn't fluent in English. Use code to communicate with Prof. If he resists, kill him and... Oh. Let me see that. Kill him and all witnesses? By protecting me, you're both in mortal danger. I shouldn't have come here. Calm down, Professor. We've got to stick together. I know, but... Anna, you had a plan, right? Could you tell more details? Yes. Here's what I have in mind. As we know, the assassin won't stop until his mission is complete. It's only a matter of time before he makes his move. My plan is to set up a lifelike mannequin, dress it up like the professor, and wait for the assailant to shoot his target. The real professor will be hiding in a safe location while this is going on. When it's over, the Nazis will call off their search. The professor should be free to cross the border in disguise. Yeah, this might just work. If the assailant doesn't take the bait, we'll capture him and figure out a new plan. What do you think, Professor? It's risky, but I'm sure we can pull it off. I'm out of options at this point. I'm game if you are. Let's put the plan in motion. Firstly, we need a mannequin. Maybe a shop in town has fun. Good idea, Otto. I'm heading off to the town. Please be careful, Liebkin. I better hurry to the car. Where should I go to find a mannequin? Antique shops carry a lot of odds and ends. I'll start there. Officer! Oh, it's good to see you again. Anna, what a surprise to see you. I'm just here to... Uh, I'm on duty. The shopkeeper's away, so I'm keeping an eye on things here. Of course. Quite a snowstorm last night. I know. I'm here so often, I may take up skiing. What brings you back to town this time? All good, I hope. I'm afraid not, officer. There's been another incident at the Riga Hotel. You see, it all started three days ago. That's horrible. Just horrible. I'll do everything I can to help. Is there anything you still need to pull off your plan? Yes. I'm looking for a mannequin. Do you know where I can find one in town? Hmm. How about this one? Yes. I think that'll work. The height is perfect. It's heavier than it looks. I'll help you carry it. Does the mannequin have a head and hands? I suppose we could put a cantaloupe on it. But... Yes, I believe it does have a head and hands. Have a look around. anywhere. Wait, now I remember. There was a magic show at the bar last night. 
One of the magicians needed an extra pair of hands. I hope you didn't make the hands disappear. Let's go to the bar and find them. Afternoon, officer. Miss? Nice to meet you. Early as unusual. We're on police business, Jürgen. Do you remember those mannequin hands yesterday? The ones that the magician used for the show? Yes, exactly. Where are they now? Probably in that mess in the corner. Haven't cleaned it yet. If the hands are there, I'll find them. Excellent. I was worried the magician might have run off with them. Thank you, Jürgen. See you in a few hours. A <laughs> beer will be waiting for you. Let's go. I have everything I need, so I'm going to hurry back to the hotel. Give me a moment to bring my car around. No need, officer. We should use my car. The assailant might not attack if he sees a police car. Good thinking, Anna. You drive. Let's go to the hotel. Anna, thank goodness. It was getting late and I started to worry. I'm perfectly fine, Otto. We got the mannequin. Officer, thank you for coming. Danke. We are in a terrible situation here. Yes, Anna briefed me on all the details. I'll help in any way I can, Mr. Rega. Everything went okay in town? The town is quiet, as usual. That is good to hear. So you do not suspect you were... followed? No, I think we're in the clear. We took my car instead of a police car to remain covert. Smart thinking. Where should we place the dummy? We'll set up in the hall since the windows are nice and big. Sounds good. Let's get to work. Officer, please place the mannequin in front of that chair, near the open window. Very good. Now let's assemble it. trained killer will be able to tell. Hold that thought, Professor. We're not finished yet. Can you give me a few clothing items? Like what exactly? Your coat? A hat? Those sorts of things. I left my coat by the fireplace. Give me a moment. My legs still hurt. Stay there. I'll get your coat for you. a little better. What else do you need? Can you spare a fedora? I lost one in the mountains, but I may have one more in my room. I'll go check.
Great, I found a hat. What do you think, gentlemen? In dim lighting, I think it would be indistinguishable. I admit I was skeptical, but it's very convincing. Perfect. Our trap is set. Professor, please hide in one of the rooms. Stay out of sight until it's over. Be mindful of the windows. We'll let you know when the coast is clear. Get ready. The assailant may be here any minute. Be him! Everybody, hide! So, you finally realize there's no use in running. You caused us a lot of trouble. It all ends now. Failed. I'm going in. Please, you're under arrest. Drop the gun and put your hands behind your head. What do we do now? The plan is ruined. I'm going to lock that bastard up. It's only a matter of a few days before the brown shirts notice something went awry and send more killers. You are all painfully naive. Shut up, you bastard! Maybe we should search him. I heard the commotion. Is it over? No! Get back to your room! I told you we would find you when... <laughs> Idiots! tell you, Yama is protecting me. A little to the left and I would have been dead. Oh, thank God. You scared us half to death, Professor. I will help you get to your feet. Did you get the assailant, officer? No, he was too fast for me. I lost him in the snowstorm. I couldn't track him in this weather. Then it's over. I'll still be hunted down. Not necessarily. He shot you and saw you drop to the floor. He might think you're dead and tell his commander the mission was a success. That should buy you enough time to leave the country. Hopefully, he'll leave us all out of his report. If I were an elite assassin, I wouldn't tell my superiors I was almost thwarted by the locals. I hope you're right. These bastards must be brought to justice. Do we have evidence of Nazi involvement in all this? You can take the encrypted messages on the table. I also found an insignia on the other assailant. According to the patch, he was from the crew 
of the Koenig Albert. Beware of anyone wearing that insignia. Duly noted. I'll find out more about this ship through the police channels. Sorry I caused you so much trouble, Otto. On top of everything, now you need new windows. Don't put the blame on yourself, Professor. This is not your doing. We are all alive and well, and that's what matters. Exactly. And let's hope it all works out well, and the threat is no more. <laughs>